Uh, what do you attribute the significant rise of assaults in the region in the past year? Yeah, look, predominantly it's uh, centred around family violence. Um, we've seen huge increases in that, which is, um, in the past, has been seen as a good thing. You know, we're encouraging the reporting of family violence. Um, the problem we have is we've, at some stage we need to sort of start plateauing it and, uh, and turning a trend around but uh, uh, look it's still concerning um, it's very difficult to combat family violence in the home it's a real culture problem uh, with the community so it's um, not just a police problem it's a whole community issue we need to get our head around so um, as far as the non-family family violence stuff goes we are starting to see some turnaround in that um, Certainly this year to date, if we take the figures year to date, apart from the, um, the financial year figures, we are starting to see a decrease in that. Um, and with the domestic violence, are there mostly repeat offenders or is there... Yeah, there are. There is a, uh, a group of uh, repeat offenders who we target. Repeat offenders and repeat victims. Um, we get uh, a lot of the uh, victims who are, who are you know, continuing to be victims. So. Um, we, we have a uh, family violence team who responds to those repeat cases. Um, we find with our early intervention with our first time offenders and first time victims that uh, we have a pretty good success rate that they don't become uh, repeat uh, victims or offenders so we'll continue to work with that as well. And can you um, explain a little bit more about the first intervention, what kind of services do you... Yeah we refer them off to, there's a lot of services out there in the uh, community so we refer anyone we have a dealing with uh, we, we refer them on to other services and that where we, we refer them depends on the situation so yeah. yeah and have you found this to be successful yeah we do yeah it's um and we, we're doing it now not just with family okay. violence okay. with um okay. with other uh, offenders and victims and people who are struggling in the community we refer them on to through a process called support link so we um uh, we're starting to branch out into other areas and what about late night assaults? Is this something that has uh, seen a decline? Yeah, no. Look, we have um, we've actually had a, an increase in assaults in the in the CBD. Um, having said that, our and it is it's when people are, are drinking alcohol and um, and they're all in the one place, so they're they're at high risk periods, no doubt about it. Uh, but we have uh, we have seen an increase in assaults in the CBD, but we have seen a decrease in assaults in licensed premises. So uh, the the pubs and clubs are doing a good job, basically, but uh, we're still getting the problems out on the streets. So we, we, we will target those areas and we continue to target them. We're, as I said, we're starting to see a decrease in the uh, non-family violence assault. So uh, we're hoping that what we've got in place is working and we'll continue to do that. Um, and yeah, what are these strategies? So high visibility. Yeah, we've, yeah, we have. Yeah, it's all high visibility. Um, it's uh, I don't think it's any secret that people won't offend if um, they see police standing around with, in a high vis vest. So that's our strategy. We've got a specific tasking unit, um, which is made up of uh, a number of members, and uh, they target those uh, areas at those high risk times. Um, and the liquor, liquor licence officers um, being based in Melbourne now, do you think this will have any impact on No, that? look, we'll, yeah, we worked closely with them in the past, um, but um, we uh, there was uh, one licensing inspector here. Um, to be honest, we do the majority of the licensing. Uh, we're the ones that are there. We, we work all hours, work weekends, things like that. So um, I don't think it'll have a, a, a huge impact on us. Um, It'd be great to have him here, don't worry about, um, you know, there's no doubt about that, but um, it won't affect what we do. And do you hope to see um, assaults decline in the next year with all the, the strategies you're putting in place? Look, that's the hope, yeah, um, and we'll just monitor as it goes along. If it's not working, we'll try something else. Um, but, um, you know, it's yes, it's a policing problem, but it's a community problem, you know, and, and alcohol is by far the biggest cause of it in our, in our community. So, um, you know, we'll, we will always have assaults, it's just a matter of um, we've got to try and limit them where we can. Yeah.